Okay, so um, in this video we shall be doing um, a few experiments related to earth leakage measurements. So um, this is the outdoor board of a split type AC unit and um, it is being driven, um, it, it actually drives an inverter compressor. Now, um, what we shall be doing today is that uh, for now we are ignoring the uh, actual compressor part and we shall be focusing on the earth leakage by the power supply circuitry. Now, in most of these power supplies, we will have such um, a configuration, a very similar configuration, and we have um, capacitors which are typically known as Y capacitors. Now, most of the time, these Y capacitors are connected to the earth of the board um, in order to provide the required filtering. Now, um, so I have my earth wire which is connected, I have my line and my neutral and I am going to switch on the supply and I can see that currently um, without having any uh, of the peripheral parts connected I have no fan motors, no compressor motors, um, no heaters um, the leakage current is very close to 1 milliamp so um, in, in this configuration we just have the power um, supply on um, as can be seen by the LED and that is already giving me a leakage of 1 milliamp um, obviously this is expected to increase when we actually connect the fan motors and the compressor motors so for experimental purposes I have removed my earth connection okay so it is very important that this is being done under an experimental condition and it should be never done on an actual appliance which is being used um, on a regular basis okay it is illegal to disconnect the earth terminal okay um, when you have an earth connection in your appliance unfortunately um, this is uh, usually done uh, when you have an electrician and he cannot sor solve an earth leakage problem but obviously that is not the way to go about it um, however um, i see that when i actually remove my earth connection the earth leakage has gone almost to a value of zero okay because i have removed the earth path from my circuit board okay so um, in the last part of this video i have removed um, anything which looked uh, like a uh, y capacitor okay so um, the capacitors the filtering capacitors which are connected to it um, obviously i have no idea um, how that affects the power quality uh, going into the board and obviously this is not something which um, is typically done because one would be uh, modifying the layout of the circuit and obviously if there are any warranties in place they would become void um, but my power supply section um, is uh, still functional my board is still operating and um, the leakage current which i am um, observing um, which is about um, um, zero um, milliamps okay so there is no noticeable um, leakage current uh, in this board um, obviously um, the one would have to also test um, the effects of having the compressor and the fans running but at least um, we have identified um, the uh, one of the 
problems, one of the contributors to leakages, which are those Y capacitors at the input of the power supply. Um, the main issue is that um, some of the boards are energized all the time. Um, so when they are connected through a double pole switch, for example, and the double pole switch is not switched off, the power supply of um, any board, it could be a refrigerator, washing machine, or tumble dryer, um, would be energized and there would be some leakage current going into the capacitor. Um, although one milliamp of current uh, might seem negligible, this will tend to increase uh, when there are any motor drives or inverter driven compressors. So um, one must be very careful because typically um, the RCD we would have one RCD with 30 milliamps of current and um, today with the switch mode power supplies and with inverter driven compressors um, that 30 milliamp for an entire house or an entire apartment might not be sufficient. Um, if you would like to see more um, similar videos, we invite you to like our Facebook page, KSC Engineering Malta, and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel.